Okay, now to give you an, an idea of what the wave functions look like, okay, um, f you know, just in a generic way, here I uh, I have a comparison between uh, the fine the infinite potential well wave functions, just the first three, okay, n equals one, two, and three, and the finite potential well wave functions, n equals one, two, and three, okay, and so. Um, this this uh, this gives us a uh, uh, a way to compare, and we see that inside the well, the wave functions for the finite and infinite well uh, look similar. We have oscillations, but what you see is that because the 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 wave functions in the finite well don't have to go to zero, in fact they can't go to zero at the boundaries because they basically have to meet smoothly with an exponential decay. Okay, so because of that, um, the wavelength of uh, these bound states that w at the you know with the same n number, the same quantum number, is longer. So the distance between these two peaks here and here is bigger than the distance between these two peaks here and here. And so we know that long wavelengths correspond to lower energies, lower smaller momentum, so lower energies and so uh, we and we explicitly see that the energies now these dotted lines correspond roughly to the energies uh, corresponding to the n equals one n equals two n equals three uh, bound bound states in the uh, finite potential well in blue in red the red dotted lines are for the infinite potential well and you see that the energies of um, of the um, bound states are uh, in the finite potential well are lower than in the infinite potential well. Okay, so that's uh, that's one difference. The other difference, the the other uh, most maybe the most important thing that we see is that the um, is that the wave function actually penetrates into this classically um, forbidden region. So classically, if we put a particle in this finite potential well. It can't penetrate into the into the walls, okay, because the the uh, potential changes discontinuously there. Even though it doesn't goes to doesn't go to infinity, it changes discontinuously there. And since the force is equal to minus the derivative of the potential with respect to um, the spatial derivative of the potential, then since this derivative is discontinuous, um, the force is infinite, and so we basically classically don't have penetration of the particle into the into the uh, beyond the walls of the of the well. But quantum mechanically, we do. It doesn't penetrate very far. It's an exponential de uh, decay, but nevertheless, it does penetrate. So there are some. If you squared if you squared these wave functions, remember we would get the probability density. And so we're going to have a finite probability of actually finding the particle outside the walls. Now, how you would measure that is not um, is not trivial, and there's a nice um, discussion of that in in the book Harris in section 5.6, the end of section 5.6. But there is, uh, but clearly, uh, with, even without making a measurement, quantum mechanics predicts that if we were to make a measurement on the location of the particle, there's a finite probability a non-zero probability of finding the particle outside the well. And we also notice that the higher the energy is, that is, the, the closer that E gets to U naught, the closer to the top of the well, the penetration, get, you, the particle penetrates even further into this classically forbidden region. That is the exponential decay uh, constant. Uh, alpha becomes slower and slower. It, it drops off more gradually. And we can characterize that uh, by something which we call the penetration depth. So again, in, uh, when x is less than zero or x is greater than L, so we're talking about solutions um, outside of the well, we have that uh, psi of x is is, um, uh, is proportional to e to the minus alpha uh, x, where we're just taking the absolute value of x. And so when alpha times this absolute value of x is equal to one, then psi decreases by a value of 1 over e. Okay, So we can define the penetration depth to be that value of x that gives you 1 over e. That is delta is equal to 1 over alpha, um, uh, which uh, is expressed right here. 